Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, sometime back, I did a video uh, about Tasha K, and I think I called it three reasons why Tasha K may be sued again in the future, right? So, guess what? It looks like there's a lawsuit brewing against her again, right? This time, this lawsuit is probably going to be by the Savages, Jocelyn and Timothy Savage. These are the parents of Jocelyn Savage. And if you look at the video I did some time back, again, I think that title is Three Reasons Why Tasha K May Be Sued Again in the Future. The reasons that I listen to that video is basically defamation of character, false light, and appropriation. I'm sorry, it's actually false light invasion of privacy and appropriation. So it looks like I missed two reasons, right? So there's two additional reasons, which we'll get into later, of why the savages, the parents of Jocelyn, are looking to potentially sue Tasha K, right? So I got this information from the TMZ website. Of course, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if the information is legit, but I'm going to read that letter to you anyway. Basically, this letter is coming from Gerald A. Giggs, LCC, the attorney, I'm assuming the attorney for the Savages or the parents of Jocelyn Savage. And basically, it's addressed to Latasha Kibi, a.k.a. Tasha K. And her attorney, Olga Ismailova, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I'm not, right? So basically, the letter goes on to read. Please be advised that our firm has been retained by Timothy and Jocelyn Savage to investigate and take legal action against you for the series of unwarranted and defamatory attacks against him, especially uh, on your social media channel, Unwind Tasha K, on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You've made several legally actionable defamatory statements about my clients. I'm writing you to directly on behalf of my clients. Timothy and Jocelyn Savage to officially demand to cease and desist the publication of defamatory statements, images, and social media posts regarding my clients. We're formally demanding that Tasha K, aka Latasha Kibi, cease all such actions immediately. Now pay attention to this part because we're going to get into it a little bit later, but it goes on to say under OCGA 51-4. 5-4, slander is defined as imputing to another a crime punishable by law, or uttering any disparaging words uh, productive of special damage, which follows naturally, therefore. Over the course of a week, November 25, 2019, Ms. Kiwi has made utterly false statements about Timothy and Jocelyn Savage that she knows or should have known were false. Examples include, are not limited to, Allegations of drug abuse, allegations of creating a social media account uh, to profit off of Jocelyn Savage's likeness and image, allegations of possession of a black box full of audio recordings, releasing clips of edited recorded statements, <clears throat> alleging that the Savages appeared on Good Morning America in New York, New York, right? So now... These are going to be particularly important when we look at the actual statute, uh, OCGA 515-4. As it turns out, it looks like both Jocelyn, or it looks like the Savages, the parents, uh, Jocelyn and Timothy Savage, and Tasha K both live in Atlanta. So this statute is going to basically be uh, applicable, right? They both live in Georgia, so they're going to be uh, bound by the laws of Georgia. And as we'll get into it later, we'll look at slander and we'll look at specifically uh, the fact that you can't accuse someone of a crime uh, without evidence, right? So that kind of falls under the actual statute, right? But let's go on with this letter. The above statements made in reference to the savages are utterly false and without merit, and they are defam uh, defamation per se in that they depicted our clients engaging in fraudulent activities that violate civil and criminal law, right? Your attempts to spread uh, libelous and defamatory material about our clients have caused serious and irreparable injury to uh, to them emotionally, financially, and physically. Our clients will not stand by and allow this misconduct to continue. 
we are demanding a complete retraction of these statements and the ceasing of making any additional false and defamatory statements about the savages. Should you fail to cease uh, this behavior, legal action will be immediately taken against you. We hereby demand the following. Immediate remove from all social media accounts all defamatory and disparaging information regarding our clients made by you and your followers immediately cease and desist in public in publishing defamatory statements about our clients whether the statements are made by you or third parties huh that's interesting how can she deal with something that's made by someone else right like if if I make statements about you on the internet and then someone else comes along and they piggyback on those statements or they make separate statements, but based off of the statements I made, how can I have any control over what someone else does? So this may be a situation where this has no choice but to go to court. Let me just read this again. Immediately cease and desist in publishing defamatory statements about our clients, whether the statements are made by you or third parties. Yeah, how can you control something someone else is doing right so this is going to be interesting uh compensate our clients for its attorney's fees and costs i can be reached at any time at my office which is redacted please receive this correspondence accordingly let me know your client's position <laughs>